Welcome to Toffee TV. It's back. Premier League football. Everton versus Brighton and Hove. Albion, first game of the season in the last season at Goodison Park. Oh, well. Roll on 12 months. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, it is the Stan 11 show. Bit of a weird one, this, isn't it? Because it's we've got injuries, we've got new players. Uh, what will he go for? Well, I don't know. But this is what I'm going for anyway. In goal, Jordan Pickford, of course. A good summer at the Euros. Um, obviously, back for Roma last week, and he'll be back to start this game. No issues, no problems, no worries at all. Everton's number one. At right back, um, <laughs> a position where, once again, we are struggling, even though we've got a few right backs on our books. It's another. It's just all last season we struggled and we haven't really done anything about it. Um, Patterson's injured. Seamus Coleman picked up an injury last week and that's going to become more and more, isn't it? Uh, Ashley Young, who a lot of people couldn't understand why we'd give him another contract. Well, this is why we've given him another contract because it was an easy deal to do and it saved Everton by another Another right back, even though we need one. We have got Dixon, who I thought should have come on last week against Roma, uh, just to give him that little bit of experience playing at Goodison Park. But it will be Ashley Young playing right back. And that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, he's got a job to do, because we know how good Brighton are from the wide areas, but he's got a job to do, so let's hope he can do it. A left back, a bit easier, Michalenko. Um is back and available. Obviously, came, has been back for the last couple of preseason games as well. Um, obviously, struggled with injuries since picking up that injury against Liverpool. So, again, fingers crossed, touch wood, everything's okay with him because there is no backup for him either, really, at the moment. Because Ashley Young is the backup, and he'll be playing right back. So again, it's about moving plays round. So he'll play left back for me and. Yeah, just about him getting back into the groove, isn't it? And, you know, we know he's a good player. Centre-back, James Tarkowski, who obviously be the captain as well. Alongside him, again, this one's where you go, hmm, who'd you go for? No, Jared Branthwaite, obviously, had an operation. I think it was an operation that had been scheduled for a very long time. Evan had kept very quiet about it, uh, but he's got that operate. He's had that operation and probably won't see him back maybe till the after the first international break, but who knows? So who goes alongside Tarkowski? Well, Jake O'Brien has obviously come in, played last week, still a bit raw, still got a uh, you know got to be seen at the Premier League level, or it's Michael Keane, or it's Mason Holgate. But I don't think it's going to be Mason Holgate and Michael Keane. Well, we started last season with Michael Keane and. You know, very quickly, Jared Branthwaite got himself into the team. But is Jake O'Brien up to that level of where Branthwaite was last season? But Michael Keane has had a week off injured. So I'm going for Jake O'Brien. I think tomorrow is about a bit of a... You know, it's going to be about playing without the ball. A lot of the time, that's the way it is against Brighton. A lot of the time, that's just the way it is full stop for Everton. So I just think... Get him in there, first game of the season. He could be up against Ferguson, who obviously is a teammate with Ireland. He'll know he's a big lad as well. That that might be what O'Brien needs rather than someone fast running behind him. Because um, I think that's the th the bit Jake O'Brien's going to have to learn is players going in behind him. I think we saw a little bit of that last week in the friendly. So I'm going to go for him at centre-back, start alongside Tarki. New signing, listen, is... He's got to play games in the Premier League, so why not start on the first game of the season? So I'm going to go for Jake O'Brien. Into midfield, uh, Adisha Garner Gay, again, sitting in front of that back four, no problem. And alongside him, uh, Tim Irabunum, I think, for me, he was sort of like the surprise package during pre-season. Obviously, James Garner's got an injury, and again, he'll probably be out till the international break. So, I think, I think, Tim, I think we've seen the last couple of weeks and fans have looked at him. And of course, it is pre-season. But I think, again, with all the options we've got, what do we do? Do we do drop the Corey in there and go for those two? Or do we have someone in there that, again, 
has played Premier League football, is young, is inexperienced, but maybe the first few weeks of the season are an ideal time. Because in the first few weeks, it is a little bit... Everyone's still bedding in. Everyone's got new players, new managers, obviously, for Brighton. It's A lot of it is just building up again from what you've done in the pre-season. And no one's the finished article by any means. So maybe for Tim comes in alongside a Isagana Gay... And this is a good opportunity, again, to get himself going in the Premier League. I, I've liked what I've seen so far. Um, again, lots to work on with the player. But I think, if, again, it's all more about positional, I think, in a game like this, where you're staying in front of the back four, you're cutting out the passing lanes, you're working hard to attack your runners. But then you break up the play with the tackles that we've seen from him so far, and then you try and get up the pitch. So I'm going to go for those two. Ahead of them, I think for this game, I probably... I pro it probably would be able to light the core for me. Again, it is about not having the ball and having that defensive structure. And I think the core can drop in. It's also good on set pieces where we'll need them. And I just think you don't have to go mad in the first game. You don't have to play all your new players. I think the manager will be trying to keep that, keep the bones of what we had last season. And he won't want to rush in and, oh, too many of those new players all at once. So I think for the structure, I think the core starts um, in that space behind the forward. On the right-hand side, now this is where I'm going to change it up a little bit. I've been thinking about this a little bit. I'm going to go for Dwight McNeil on the right-hand side, cutting in on that left foot. Um, and that means, for me, it's because I want Ndai to start, and I think the left-hand side will be a good place for him to start as he gets into the Premier League. I think his ideal position is behind the forward, but I don't think, I don't think just quite yet. I don't think he's had enough game time during the summer, to be honest, at the pre-season games, to maybe establish himself in that position. He's been in and out, you know, picking up, he picked up a little, a little niggly injury or whatever, but I want to start, I think, so for me, McNeil on the left, cutting in on that left foot, which is essentially what Jack Harrison does on that side anyway. So it doesn't really make any difference which one. I just think McNeil for the set pieces is why why I'd have him ahead of Jack Harrison over there. And on the left, I'd go for and I think you've got the balance then of players cutting in. Um, and, I, I, you know, and I, 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 you know, I really want to see him playing in the Premier League, picking up the ball. And again, for in a game, I think he works hard. And I think for him, it's... You've got to be able to use that counter-attack. And I think he's a player who can pick up the ball and run with it and hurt the opposition. I think that's what we're going to need in this game. Try and get up the pitch every opportunity. And he's someone who runs with the ball really well and commits players. I think that'll be ideal for this game. And then up front, Dominic Carvalhoon. He's played all pre-season. There's, there's still worries about his future. But I think for the manager, the manager's looked at it and gone, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play him till we have to, until maybe a day that we don't have him. But we're not going to worry about that till it happens. Um, he certainly he certainly doesn't really fancy Beto, and we obviously there's no Schmitty. so Dom obviously will start up front, and I think is our best option till he's not our best option. And I think right now I don't think um, I don't think we can mess about with that too much. I don't think you can just be sitting there expecting them to leave. So that's my 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you go with? Would you bring Lindstrom in? Would you have and die playing behind Dominic Carvalhoon? What would you go for? Would you start Keen at centre-back? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's quarter to two, because there's a new time for the team sheets coming out. A quarter to two, we'll find out what Sean Dyche's plans are for this game. So let me know in the comments. Don't forget to make sure to watch the match preview. Baz and Jack sat down to talk about it. Also, the season preview, season prediction video is out as well. All that stuff is ready to go. Make sure you check that out. If you want more great videos and exclusive videos, head over to Toffee TV Premiere. The link is in the description. The QR code's come on the screen now. See you later.